Well, uh, morning, good people. I've just been watching uh, the border on Queensland, New South Wales. Um, it's like Nazi Germany. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that the socialist takeover would be so, so quick? Um, at the moment, they're asking for more powers for the police and government to intervene. People, keep your heads level. This is a, a serious situation. The government needs no more power. The police need no more special powers. They're breaking the constitution in front of everyone. And this started, I know I've said this before and people think it's a broken record, but this started with the first people who pulled up for a booze bus and didn't ask, is this all right? Is this lawful? Because it wasn't. And when you let the police break the law a little bit, then they think it's all right. Then they'll break the law more. And then they'll break the law more and more until it's lawless. And they're going through your car and your pockets and destroying all the freedoms and rights you have of privacy. At the moment, they've destroyed your right to privacy. So you can't even just go over the border. We live just as a stone throw. We're looking over the border, yeah? So, so I'm breaking the law by going through a walk through the bush this direction, yeah? And I'm breaking the law for, by crossing the imaginary line, which, I mean, I've asked some of the, the local Aboriginal people here and, um, there was no line drawn in there in, in the bush between New South Wales and Queensland before so obviously there's a new one, imaginary one that's popped up since we got here. It's all imaginary, it's not real. So once again I'm appealing like people do what you can, write what you can, ring, talk to who you can. Stop this. Stop this absolute travesty of justice think about your children they're not going to be able to drive down the road without having a cop pull them over papers just like nazi germany i really really fear for the future um the border looked stupid it looked like a nazi border patrol check I, i'm i'm amazed that we've let it get this far it's time for people to start talking up. Um, I mean, self-isolation's becoming a joke. Huge fines. Um, I don't think we've done the right thing. We've let it get too far. Every All the people who laughed at me about fighting for booze buses, have a look. Have a bloody look now. Yeah, he used to tease me because I get taken away by cops for refusing a breath test and I'm not a drinker. Well... It wasn't for that. I was trying to do it for everyone else. Okay? Um, I mean, all the times I've been harassed over this, I've been trying to help you guys and stop stuff like this happening. If everyone started standing up, they couldn't do it. But you're all weak. I don't know what to say. Start standing up because you haven't got much time. Anyway, God bless people. Um, find love, hug people, don't forget to hug people. This fucking social distancing is going to destroy ours. Um, and it's not social, it's physical distancing. It's not social, social distancing is not talking to people, not communicating, which is what they want, right? Physical distancing is what it actually is, but they lie. The government lies. For all the poor status who don't get it yet, I'm sorry, but... The government lie. Anyway, look, God bless people. Stand up strong now while he can. Love you all.